Hey, little buddies. That was more comforting than anything. Oh! Do you see it? This house is trying to kill me. I need a lockpick? We're gonna be able to lockpick things? Anxiety has finally passed. Some unseen force trapped me inside my father's bedroom. Fortunately, I was able to make my way to his office. My father kept a lot of odds and ends in there, so I should be able to find some kind of lockpick to open the padlock in the basement. Just in case. I'd rather not kill anyone. Without ammo, it won't be much help. Yeah, I was wondering if it was loaded. My father's old revolver, a 45 caliber. He began teaching me how to hunt when I was a teenager. Whenever I missed a shot, I'd get slapped in the face for wasting bullets. I started progressing faster, and eventually my aim was even better than his. Go to the basement and see what's behind that door. An amulet. It must be one of those amulets supposed to bring wealth. My father wasn't superstitious, but when push came to shove, he would clutch at straws. Hmm. Could it have belonged to my father's associate, George Whitehead? Maybe he gave it to my father as a gift. Or maybe... I don't know. remember how upset my father was after that accident, and when he found out what happened to George, he was really terrified. Mining accident, Blackstone, New Hampshire. An explosion in the Carolyn Mine, Blackstone, New Hampshire, cost the lives of three miners. Witnesses claimed tremors were felt up to half a mile from the mine, and the bang could be heard from inside homes, even with the windows closed. The uh, some of it's kind of cut off. Let's switch to this. The cause of the explosion and whether it could be avoided is yet to be determined. Our reporter has not been able to contact either of the mine's co-owners. George Whitehead was unavailable, while Jacob Hyde refused to comment on the accident. We will provide our readers with further, further details as the story unfolds. 
Okay, so it sounds like George Whitehead probably was the one, well, one of the three people that were killed. And that's what the letter from Maria was about, probably. Using mouse, place the lockpicks under one of the cylinders, move up and down to raise the cylinder. When the cylinder crosses the cut line, block it quickly using the left mouse button. Okay, let's try this. So I can just kind of freely move this around. Ah, so ping it up. Okay, so when I click it, like, moves to the side for just a second. So I think I need to make sure that this happens just when it's coming down. Like that, yeah. And then it sticks. Ah. Oh. The others will also um, come loose when you jiggle it. Wait, can you actually, like, hit it harder or lo or slower? Like, don't be very slight. Ping, nice and slow. Fast, nice and... Or bad and fast. <laughs> so, wait, what am I supposed to do exactly? Like, am I supposed to... Get them all caught at the same time? No, no way. Oh, I think it's only if you mess up the next one that they all reset. My mom bought it for me. I can hardly remember her, but this mounted soldier I remember very well. Just one look at it in my childhood comes back to me. A few years later, a bloody war broke out, and I was too old for toys like that. What is this? This looks like a cake recipe or something. But I can't read it. Dang it. Hmm. I'm just gonna give a assumptive, preemptive content warning for child abuse. Because this is a belt and I know what I think of when I think of belts. I can't remember how many times I got beaten with this thing. It's a wonder it hasn't fallen apart. Father would sometimes beat me for imagined wrongdoings. He claimed that I was robbing the guests, talking to someone in the hallway at night, sneaking into the mine, etc. None of that was true. Eventually, he figured that since I got used to getting thrashed, he needed a better method of punishment. He started locking me up in the darkness for hours, sometimes even days. Okay, going back down to the basement, huh?
<laughs> no, it can't be happening. It can't be true. Why do they say I'm safe now if it's coming back? Oh, this one's got four. Should be able to get into another room from here. Hmm. <laughs> Don't like this. Don't like much of anything. Just disappeared. Get out of the room. This is a hell of an escape the room. How in the world did they get out if there's a mechanism blocking the door? Seems like some parts are missing. This is real. The blood. The metal rod. These are no phantoms. I haven't lost my mind. Not this time. It was bent from the force of the strike. Won't budge. In the world did he get away? Is that a wig? Looks like one of those abominations that the judges wear on their heads. There was a judge that used to come to our house. What was his name? Norton. Wait a minute. It is him. It was his death that was covered up in that newspaper. How was that possible? And the other man? The one in the hat. He locked up the judge. So maybe he did the same to my father. I'll retrace their steps. 
Maybe I can find out something about my father's disappearance. And about all the other missing people. It seems that the victim is a judge, but why would the kidnapper bring this wig to the basement? Did he want to mock the man? A crank to open the door. A crank. Maybe I could use it to open the door. A cog. If there's a cog here, there must be there must also be a mechanism somewhere that it once belonged to. That goes in the door as well. Hopefully it will fit the mechanism. The shape tells me I need to put the cog in here. Oh, that is so cool! Judge is bleeding heavily. He will look for help. Blood trail. I can use it to track him down. Oh man, there's a lot of new diary entries. I don't think there's much of a reason to read it. Like, there's the occasional small detail. But for the most part, I don't think I need it. Maybe I could use it. Bullets? Oh my god. This game even has shooting. I'm curious, can I change the difficulty? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to go with Beast for now, and we'll see how that is. Since now I know I can change it during play. Ooh, change difficulty and load last checkpoint. Not last chapter, but last checkpoint. Yeah, sure. Couldn't have been that long ago. down sights and there's a crosshair surprisingly I kind of would have expected to not have a crosshair can I like put this thing away no, I think I just have it Stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't make me do this. But he did nothing. He let him do it all. What? It's vanished to the thin air. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> I expected them to die with one hit like they did before. Mm. Yep, I'm dead. I sure am. What? It's vanished in thin air. All right, I'm just gonna run. Oh wait, I can't. Yes, I can. I do not know how fast they are. 
Uh, there's actually a bunch of ammo right back here. Yes! Wanna keep him away for a while. Yeah. Headshots seem good. Gotta listen for footsteps. It's a lot of boxes of ammunition, but there's not actually a lot of ammo. Fuck, where are they? doesn't do anything? Fuck! I do not think this is where I'm supposed to go. Where the fuck am I? Wait, I see something. Oh! Yes! Wait, have I gone on a circle? I... I don't know if I'm going backwards now. I think I am. Fuck. Am I just straight up dead? Oh. Okay, running away. If they're kind of near you, not the way to go. Okay, back to pretty close to where we were? Yeah. Bullets only keep them away for a while. To refill the lamp, open your inventory and look for a bottle of kerosene. Oh, am I low? Ah, yes. I'm out. I have 19 kerosenes.
again. How do I get rid of him? Oh shit. Shit. Oh my god. What do you want? There's an inn not far from here. You better check that place. God damn, sure just dropping me tons of stuff. I wasn't expecting a boss fight. <laughs> this game keeps surprising me. I hear what sounds like uh, they're in a critical condition. It makes a noise and then they kind of go down. And I feel like I should be able to do an execution or something there, but I don't, I can't seem to find a way to do it. Like if I go up to him, I don't see any prompt. So I don't know if I'm missing something. Also, when it all goes cloudy and that ghost form comes at you super fast, I don't think you can actually kill that thing. It doesn't seem to take any damage. But I also tried to avoid it one time and I just ended up dying trying to run away because it was so fast. So I'm not quite sure what to do there. Yeah, like this. How do I avoid that?
lights on inside and all the silhouettes of people watching the show are gone. Now it's completely dark and dead. What? How in the hell? Keys in a diary from over a century ago. Fucking hell, but... It's impossible. I don't know how, but it worked. Maybe if I find the other pages from the diary, if those telegrams are ever gonna be decoded, I have to take every chance. I'll notify David. This will blow his mind. I've made more progress than his entire team has in months. Chapter 5, They Are Watching. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to end for now, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to call David. <laughs>